All right, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I'm doing a Black Friday haul of Alfleet and Gymshark. Didn't plan it that way. It just kind of happened because I got a ton of stuff from both places and they just so happened to come around the same time. For a long story short, I ordered Gymshark on the blackout Monday that they had and I got a ton of stuff and it didn't come until a week and a half, like over a week and a half later. And then Alfleet I ordered like at midnight when they started on Friday and then it came like the following like Tuesday or Wednesday, so that was pretty quick shipping. Anyways, now my dog is like barking at me right now. But anyways, I wanted to review everything, but not even like necessarily review, just doing like, I just wanna like half do review and half do a haul. So all the things that I've reviewed in the past on my channel, like revival shorts, I won't review them again. I'll just show you what I got and maybe just um, put a voiceover of me wearing them for like a second. But um, I'll only review this, like actually review the stuff that I've never tried before. So I haven't even opened the Gymshark yet. It's a huge package. I literally got only leggings from Gymshark and like 10 or 11 pairs of leggings. And most of them I haven't actually tried before. So that, I'm gonna do that at the end, the Gymshark one, because that's gonna be like a lot of stuff. So Alfleet, I got a ton of stuff. Most of the stuff I've reviewed, re reviewed before, but, most, but there's also a few items that I haven't. So we'll start with Alfleet. So first I'll start off with what I have reviewed before and that is, like I haven't even opened it yet. Um, <laughs> and that would be the Halo leggings. So that's one of my most recent videos. I reviewed the Halo leggings and I really liked the color I got, which was like that nude color. So I got it in cloud gray because I think the cloud gray is really pretty too. I got it in the Revival shorts originally. So I decided to pick it up in the Halo and cloud, cloud gray. So I'll just pop up me wearing them uh, real quick since I already reviewed them before, but I really love this color. Um, as I said in the last video, they are just super delicate, so that's like the biggest downfall of the leggings. Otherwise, I liked how they fit on me, and I think that they were flattering on me personally, and they're just like a very subtle detailing, but yet still complimenting my body type at least. So those I got as well. Next, what I've already reviewed on my channel before are the R6 Revival shorts. So I did a review on the old Revival shorts before and then I did an updated review when they came out with the R6 shorts, which I really, really like. I don't really have any complaints about them. Maybe the sizing might be a little bit different between just the black ones. Uh, I felt like they may fit a little differently. I, I can't remember because I don't have them anymore but I have them in blue. So I got them in cloud gray when I got my other Halo leggings. And then this time I decided to pick them up in the coral red and the hot pink. And I think these colors are so cool. I actually already wore the coral, coral red. So I'll actually pop up a video of me working out in the red um, so that I don't have to try it on now. And then you can see it in action as well. But I think this color is just so different. Like it's not like a normal red. It's just like, it's just like a really pretty red. I don't even know how to describe it. But I think that that is a really good purchase. And then I'm always a sucker for pink and this is a beautiful hot pink. So I got the hot pink as well. So I'll pop up a video of me just wearing these as well. I haven't worn them in the gym yet. I will say though, it looks like there's already a little pilling on them. Don't know if you could see that fuzziness right there. But I haven't really had any issues with my other revival stuff. Maybe it's just because my hands are super rough, like so rough right now from doing like pull-ups and stuff. Yeah, those are that. Also, you might hear my dog eating in the background because she decided to eat right now, her one time a day that she decides to eat. <laughs> I guess we'll go more into the things I haven't reviewed yet, starting with these, although this is like an in-between. So I, I haven't, I reviewed the hail leggings. Look, I got another pair of hail leggings, but I got them in the urban chic color because like I really wanted to see what that color was about. And I will say, I feel like they, were a little deceiving in their ads. I feel like it almost, I know they kind of said it was a type of green, but I feel like in all the pictures it looked more of like a grayish black, but it's definitely way more like forest green in person. See, it still looks like it may be coming off grayish in the camera, but I don't know. In person, it's like actually kind of a really dark forest green. So I will try these on. But first, let me show you everything else I got before I try everything on here. Right here, I've never... So I'm like... I pretty much only wear like Lululemon Free to Be and Free to Be Wild sports bras, I feel like, because those are just my favorite. But I decided to try the Revival... I think this is the Vi Revival sports bra. Actually, it's the Revival Vault bra. I don't know. So that's that. And I actually ordered it... All right, so another thing. I ordered it in a small and an extra small. 
because I thought that I'd be able to return. Like I know Apple doesn't have free returns, but I was like, you know, I might as well get a bunch of stuff and then whatever I want to turn, I can return. Turns out after the fact, I realized that they you can only return things that were 20% or less on sale. So of course this was 25%, so I can't return it. But luckily a friend of mine is gonna buy the extra small from me. So basically, I bought both sizes because I wasn't sure because you know people say it's like super stretchy, you can size down. Definitely didn't want to size down. I felt like it was way too, like the straps felt way too tight on me. It was way too tight around here on me. So I'll kind of show you what I mean when I try on the small and point out what I felt like felt too tight when I was wearing the extra small. I'm gonna try that on for you. Kind of a boring item, but you know, I really did not need this, but I woke up in the middle of the night and like just added it to my cart. <laughs> just like a plain black cropped long sleeve and it says Alphalete right there. And then last but not least, I got the Surface collection here. So I got the Surface Pocket Leggings in that camo color right here. And then I got uh, the, this, you know, deep V bra right here. Um, and I got a size small in literally everything here besides the extra small, which I already gave to my friend in the bra. So let me go try that stuff on for you. Okay, so here is the Urban Chic color. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but it's definitely like a dark green. I think it might fit like a tad tighter than the other colors. It still feels good because the other colors, like it, to begin with, it's pretty stretchy and big. So um, there is room for it to be a little bit tighter. So it, it still feels good on me. Like I wouldn't change sizes. I don't even know if it's just in my head, but otherwise fit and look is exactly the same here. Yeah, I'm still not sure if I'll keep the color or not because I don't know how much, like how many things I have that really match green besides like white. So just an interesting color to try here. Okay, so here is the crop tops. As, as you can just also see the black compared to the green, the difference there. Um, but otherwise it's a pretty basic crop top. Like I definitely didn't need this. <laughs> it's like a silky kind of soft. So it's definitely like comfortable. It's definitely obviously not super cropped. It hits right at the top of my leggings. And if I raise my arms up, it just comes up a little bit. I got a size small too, so the shoulder comes right around here. Like I probably could have sized down, but I still feel like I still like I'm fine with a size small. Um, and then I can also like the sleeves are long enough where I can put them over my hands like this. So yeah, it's just like a really basic crop top. I don't think it's like a must have or anything. I don't really know why I got it. <laughs> it's just like whatever. But and then there's the height back there. All right, don't mind my color mismatch here, but here is the Volt bra in size small. So it's definitely like super soft material, just like the leggings, definitely a true size small. So obviously the reason I didn't want an extra small is because it's very tight around here. The extra small was like embarrassing how tight it was around here. Um, I'll put all my stats below obviously, but I don't have like the biggest chest, it's like normal size. So I don't even feel like it's that hard. It's just, it definitely just, you know, it feels tight around here. And then like the straps back here, just felt like super tight on the extra small and then this is like a good length too so the size small fits like it's definitely not my favorite bra just because i still feel like it's you know kind of like really tight you see you can even like see like it's like really tight around my underarm it's definitely like a nice sports bra to have if you want to feel more covered in the gym or if you're doing something high intensity because you know it provides all that coverage but i will say i wouldn't size down because like that's like super tight um and then here is the back so yeah the back i think is nice um and definitely doesn't dig in back here it's literally just like under here that i feel it and actually like above here as well i feel like it's tight okay last but certainly not least are is a surface outfit that i've never tried before so I obviously it's in camo, um, a size small on top and bottom. Bottoms, I would say are true to size small. I thought that I would not be able to size down because this collection looked like not what the fabric actually is. Like the fabric's actually a really soft material, like a brushed fabric actually. And then like a, like a smooth material inside. The top is like that too, it's like a brushed material. So, um, and I thought that the band was gonna be super tight, but you see like, there's actually like a lot, look how stretchy that is. It's so stretchy, a lot of room. So I feel like I maybe could have done an extra small on this. Cause like, look at all that room, but I am not sure again how that would fit. But I feel like, like I, I just wasn't sure about the coverage part, but 
Um, that's that. And then it has that cool back right there with the green stripe. So yeah, I don't know. I'm probably going to return this because it's, I think this was 20% off. So, you know, like, so the thing is that <laughs> I have Lulu Aligns in the black and green camo. Um, so that's also probably why I won't keep this camo. But I wanted to show you a comparison between, um, let's see if you can see that. Okay, so the camo, this is the black camo from a Lulu, and then this is obviously the athlete one, so it's pretty similar. Yeah, I don't know. It's like black and gray, kind of. I would say uh, the athlete maybe is a little bit more like faded black, but yeah, that's that. I actually am pleasantly surprised on the surface pocket leggings. I am really happy I heard that they made improvements from the first surface, which the reason why I didn't get it is because it looked like it would be a lot of camel toe, but this, I wouldn't really get any camel toe in. The waistband comes so high, like way higher than any of the other leggings I've tried from Alphalete. And I find that really comfortable when there's high waistbands. And then when you squat, the waistband doesn't move at all. Like it really stays in place. Obviously there's pockets. I don't really use pockets in the gym, but I don't know if you needed them. So, and then the length, I'm 5'8", and it comes like a little bit above my ankle here. So. And it's a seamless top there. And yeah, I don't know. I actually am pleasantly surprised by these leggings. I just don't know if I would personally keep them because I have two other Lulu like aligned leggings. So I don't know, but I feel like if you bought them during the Black Friday sale, that was a great purchase. And I definitely think they're nicer than what I expected. So I would say if you need more leggings, like you should try them. <laughs> okay, now as for Gymshark, let me first just like hold up everything I got and tell you what I got before I try everything on, just so you know, because there's like literally so many leggings. This is probably someone's like, I feel bad because it's probably like someone's own like wardrobe is just like these leggings and I just did them all in like one haul. <laughs> but um, I obviously am really hoping to return most of them. I just do this for like the review and just to like try it on and see what the hype's about. But starting with the power down leggings, I never, so most of these I've never tried before, most of them. So the power down leggings, I actually got these in a small and an extra small because I heard to size down in these. So obviously whichever ones I don't fit in, I'll return or return both if I don't like them. But feeling them right away, they're like unbelievably soft. It feels like I'm literally holding a blanket right now. Um, so I got these. And also Paisley decided to make a visit. She finished her eating. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that. And then I got the lightweight seamless in this blue color and black color. Because I heard those were really good. So most of these I obviously got because I heard they were good. And then I got the high-waisted flex, which I've done a review on before when they first came out. But I've never tried the updated version because I heard they fixed exactly what I complained about, which was like, it kind of felt like stiff. And I heard they made them stretchier. So we'll see how these are. And then I got Geo Ombre seamless leggings in black because I, I'm honestly not the biggest fan of like a lot of stuff going on in leggings. Uh, at least for like this, you know, this kind of stuff. So I figured I'd just stick with the black because that would be good for like when I uh, teach classes and stuff. And then I got the laser cut tights in top. All right, so these are feel like super thin. So that is kind of scary. And then last two things, which I've actually tried on before. So obviously these ones weren't on sale, but I did a review on the Gymshark Camo Seamless before and I did really like them. However, I found, I found that I didn't really wear green as much or purple. So I'm really happy they came out with the gray. So I'm gonna see how I like the gray color. Um, and then last but not least, I have a pair of the Energy Flex and I like them. Uh, the only thing that is like awkward about them is the really big crotch gusset, at least on the color I got. This might be different, but I really like this blue color. Um, and they were like 15 bucks or something. So I couldn't resist because they are like pretty solid leggings. Like they're very high waisted and whatnot and good compression they don't fall down so we'll see how this color is on that so now it's time to try everything on all right i'm gonna try to film this really quick because there's so many leggings and i want so i'm gonna make this efficient and my super first impressions and of the leggings all right so starting off with the laser cut tights actually really presently surprised with these they are super thin so i'd say if you're not someone that's like comfortable with like how you look maybe not get these leggings I think that the color is really pretty. I am wearing a nude seamless song right now, but I probably wouldn't wear one um, if I actually wear these just because the holes do come like up pretty high and it is very thin, at least this color. But I really like how high the waistband comes 
and I don't really get much of a camel toe here and it's pretty comfortable like I actually really like how thin it is it's very light and like easy to move and because the waistband comes up high um, I don't really feel like I have an issue with it with it falling down um, then as far as squat proof here yeah I don't know I think that these are pretty solid leggings I'm pretty sure these went super fast I think I tried um, and I, try, I obviously got so many leggings surprisingly I thought things were gonna fly out of my cart the only I only didn't get one thing I wanted and I think it was these in black or like another color um, so I'm happy I got this color though it's pretty nice so yeah I would say that these I'm presently surprised with and I think that like they're a solid pair of leggings Alright, now moving on to the lightweight seamless. Again, we're on a good roll. I feel like I'm pleasantly surprised here. And I'm actually really confused how these leggings weren't really hyped up because these are like totally my type of leggings. Like they're plain, not like cool colors, and like they just do the job kind of thing. And I really like how this one has no seam down the front. I think the waistband is nice because it comes super high and it's very compressive so it won't fall down. Um, and I always thought that these were holes but they aren't so I really like how it's just a detail and they're not holes. Um, this is thin but definitely thicker than the first pair of leggings for sure. Um, and then as far as squat proof right here. And you see when I squat like it's usually my main issue with Gymshark is the waistband would gape out but these have been really nice and compressed along the waist. So, yeah, pleasantly surprised at these. So this, obviously this is like a blue steel color and I also got it in black, which I'm going to try in right now. Okay, so usually with the black pair of leggings with most companies or Instagram companies, black usually fits differently and smaller and tighter, but this fits exactly the same as the blue and the same exact thing. I think it's really comfortable, good height still. Here it is on my squat. And again, does it, the waistband does not move when I squat, so that's awesome. So those three leggings down, some more to go here. Uh, all right, let's move on to the Geo seamless black leggings here. All right, don't mind me, I'm just like walking around with the tags on still. So putting them on right away, they definitely feel a lot tighter than the last pair of leggings I tried on. And um, some issue I have is it feels like tight around like the calf and the quads, which I don't even have like that big of legs. Um, but the waistband is actually like pretty loose back here, but it's not loose to the point where it gapes out at all, at least not that I saw. Let me just this here. And it still comes up pretty high, so even if it's a little loose back there, it doesn't seem to fall down, and it still stays up pretty high. And then this definitely is shorter than the other last few leggings on me. Like I have long legs, so it comes to like there on me. Um, I do... I actually like the detailing on this. I think it's very flattering on your body. Uh, again, I don't think I personally would get the other colors, but I do like the black. These ones I'm actually like okay with. Um, at the end, maybe when I edit this, if I know by the time I edit this, like which ones I keep and didn't keep, I'll put everything in the video just so that like, in case you're wondering, because these are my first impressions, I have to go soon, so I'm trying to get everything done. But um, yeah, I actually think that these are pretty cool. Like. I tried the Vital Seamless on before and I didn't really like the fit. I actually like this fit better because the waistband's a lot higher and I like that. So that's good. All right, let's stick with black. The last two black leggings are the Power Down in small and extra small. All right, so here's the leggings in an extra small and they actually fit perfectly. I'm also trying the small just for comparison, but yeah, they're so comfortable. They're like almost like a waffle material. I know they're not meant to be like worked out in, they're just meant to lounge in. But I will, you know, I wear leggings to teach class and stuff at 5.30 a.m. So this would be a great option if I just want to throw on black leggings. It's interesting that the waistband is super high because it's meant to be rolled down. So I actually like that because it gives you room to tailor to your body. And then there's no seam in the front, but the back is still flattering. Obviously, you can't really see it that well with the black. Um, and here it is. Not that I would really need to spot much in it. But yeah, I think that this is so comfortable. And I think that these were like on sale for a lot and pretty cheap. So I'd probably keep these. And yeah, let me try on the small for comparison. All right, so you can't really tell a big difference in the small. You could just tell like the waistband comes a lot higher here. And it definitely feels like there's a lot more give back here above the butt. Otherwise, like the legs don't feel too different. Mostly just like up like back here kind of. So. I probably like would keep the extra small just if I want to like feel more snatched. 
However, if you're someone that wants to be like way, way loungy, then I would just stick to your true to size. But it is possible to size down if you want to feel like snatched a little bit, but still like comfortable, if that makes sense. So whatever you can get your, like, I mean the sale's over now, but if you could get your hands on either one, I feel like you'd be good. But definitely feel more snatched in the extra small, but pretty cool leggings. All right, now let's move on to the high-waisted flex. All right, I feel like that was a really good idea going from the power down leggings to the flex because now these feel so tight on me. Honestly, I guess I feel like, def uh, I guess I would feel that they're a little bit stretchier like in the butt, but it kind of still comes down like too low for me. Like I like when it's a little bit higher right here, the waistband, but it still kind of feels low to the point where I squat, it like dips down back here. I don't know if you can tell, but it, I feel like it just like dips down or at least sticks out and it doesn't feel like, it snatches me in up here. However, like the whole leg part is very stiff on me. So I feel like that doesn't really have much movement. It's kind of like hot. I don't know. These aren't my favorite. These are like what I'm least impressed with out of like all the legs that I tried on so far. So that's that. And now let me try on the other color I got in these. All right, so this is exactly why I get two colors. I don't know if you can already tell, but the waistband comes up a lot higher. It feels a lot stretchier than the other ones, even though they both were considered the newer ones and ones that were stretchier. And this is like the gray and blue one, which I really like that color combo. So this one I actually would consider keeping because as you can see, the waistband actually stays high and put. Um, and I think these ones are a lot more flattering on me, not even as like the color, just because I feel like they genuinely fit differently. So I actually like these ones. <laughs> See, that's exactly why you just order a ton of stuff, try it on, and return it. Because then you have peace of mind. And then if I tried on the other ones and never got these ones, I would just totally write them off. But these ones just genuinely fit differently. All right, guys, final stretch. I'm going to review the Energy Seamless, and then I'm going to review the camo, and then we're done. All right, I really hope you could see all these leggings the same dark out. This is the Blue Energy Seamless. So I still like really like them. I think that they, like the waistband is so comfortable, it comes up so high. I think they're uh, nice and flattering. They're very easy to move in. I think for some people with big quads, maybe this would feel too tight or uncomfortable, but that's kind of like your personal preference. Literally the only thing, the only thing that's really weird to me, which is only reason why I would buy them as a $15 pair of leggings or whatever they were is because like the crotch gusset kind of comes up super high. I don't know if you can even see it from there, but I mean, there's no camel toe because there's no seam, but the crotch gusset just comes up like kind of high, which is a little frustrating because like, I don't know, but like who's going to be really, I feel like no one really noticed that. But yeah, here's the squat test. Yeah. So up to you about that part, but I think this is a beautiful color. I really like this color. Last but not least, the Gymshark Camo Seamless. Okay, so here's the gray Camo Seamless. I definitely think they're very comfortable. I love how there's no front seam. The waistband definitely comes super high, like a great height, and it stays at high in the back, which is good. Um, there's like a little bit of space back here, but nothing too bad where it doesn't fall down. It definitely stays in place when I squat here. Yeah, I think it's definitely flattering. I would say the only thing is like, it would maybe be better if there was like a little bit more of a seam down the butt after the scrunch, but it's still pretty flattering. And I definitely think that's awesome if you got it on sale. Um, I just personally wanted gray ones. So of course I just got the gray ones. Um, and I really just like how it's a very subtle camo. So it's just like, I don't know nice and different and they're still comfortable like it's and these actually aren't like super super tight around my legs which i find with like the geo seamless felt like tight around here and then loose around here but this is a pretty consistent size which is good so finally finished it all uh, i know i like rushed like i guess i kind of rushed through it but i feel like i said everything i had to say uh, i feel like it's impossible to have like thoroughly thoroughly reviewed all these leggings unless i had like two months to try them all and like exercise and wear them all <laughs> that i feel like is a pretty good first impression i'll try to say everything i kept when i'm editing this video because it'll be a few days from now and hopefully i'll know by then because i want to make some returns but if you have any specific questions about any of the leggings just leave them down below or just any questions in general i'll try to answer them i mean either way the sales are done now but just in case they're still in stock and you want to buy them full price whatever yeah otherwise thank you for watching and 
I'll see you in the next one. Also, side note, before I signed off, I just realized I've been wearing this bra the whole time and it's actually so comfortable. Now I feel like I might keep it because it was like, I feel like I have nothing on. Maybe it's because it was like, it's supposed to be loose, but I actually like, I'm really liking the sports right now and maybe I'll keep it because it's like really nice to lounge in. <laughs> All right, now I'll see you in the next one.